in terms of getting developing countries to prioritize climate change, what, what can be done to build traction? But on top of it all, what are the solutions? We all often talk problems, but what's the solution? So, I'm trusting you, Madam Gorgieva. Um, what we have on our side is Mother Nature. Mother Nature has uh, awoken all policymakers everywhere. I used to meet with leaders from Africa 10 years ago, and they would say, this climate change thing, it is for the West, not for us. No more. Uh, what are the uh, solutions? Uh, well, there is no silver bullet, but if you put in place good policies that promote sustainability, if you have the uh, development finance to unite, so rather than uh, we chase individual activities, we work together, and this is what we pledge uh, to do. And, uh, uh, basically get governments to remove barriers for private right. sector participation, then we would see good things happening. Above all, above all, we need to move from the culture of pointing fingers to the culture of holding hands. Absolutely. We are in this together. Okay, Ajay Banga, solutions, very briefly. Uh, the only thing I'd add to that is, uh, I think, incentivizing countries who are going out of their way to add to the global public good, whether that is through concessional financing, lower prices, longer term tenors, that's important. But I also think the voluntary carbon market piece, don't lose sight of that idea. That is the ultimate way of getting money to move in the right Mr. direction. Mr. Ben Ali, I would say get the politicians out of the room let the economists decide and craft for us voluntary carbon markets, carbon taxes in some places, but a price of carbon that embeds the value of humanity, the value of life. And then you bring the politicians back in the room to finish the negotiation. <laughs> and Mark Carney. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. I would, I would recognize that this is, what we're talking about is not just a necessity, but it's a leapfrog technology. This continent leapfrogged parts of it in mobile telephony, in finance, it can do it in energy, having that attitude, and then we can have a celebratory dinner, and I took his note that it should be duck with couscous. <laughs> I want to thank our esteemed panel for their time and sharing with us their great insights. There are a few things I've learned from this conversation that the closing window to make this transformation happen in countries at all stages of development, it exists, but there's urgency needed. Financing is clearly important if we're really going to get things moving forward. Uh, and to send a strong signal, we need the sound policies to get the investors to come through. And yes, if we want a fair shot at a livable planet, we have to work together, partnerships, partnerships, and partnerships.